Hey YouTube, on the table today we have a P-38 from World War II. This gun obviously has been fully checked. No rounds in there, no rounds in the mag. Now that we got that out of the way, this is a pretty cool gun. I just wanted to show you guys um, that I picked up a little while ago. It was a uh, probably a stored gun from what I understand. Um, picked it up from Gander Mountain when they were running a clearance special. Apparently, from what I've read, these were captured by the Soviets and pretty much placed in storage. Pretty interesting stuff. You'll see here the little Nazi... Uh, um, what do you call that? The fucking uh, bird there. Can't, I'm lost for words. That's what I get for doing these unscripted. Um, you also see it's kind of scuffed up here. They had to switch out the serial number, I think, when they imported. I don't know all the details, but this company here imported the uh, the um, P38 here from Walther. It's a pretty cool design. You'll also see another Nazi insignia there. I swore I'd never have a Nazi gun. I had no interest in it. But these were going for a substantial, um, a substantially lower price than what they normally go for. So I said, you know what? The hell with it. I'm going to pick one up and just hope that it's not rusted and pitted. And this one is not. There's uh, maybe a few little tiny pits. I think they're more dings than anything. But um, it's pretty cool. It's got the bake light grips which is pretty interesting that they had that that far back. I guess this is like the original polymer. <laughs> um, another cool design feature is that it's got a delayed, um, uh, I guess, ejection. I don't know how you would say this, but as you can see, the barrel pushes back with the gun. So before the slide even rolls back, that barrel is on its way back with the recoil. Let me see if I can get this um, pulled back here. It's kind of hard on camera. I've got this camera between me and the gun. But um, here we go. We got it in full lock back. This gun has a pretty neat magazine. Um, very reminiscent to me at least of the 1911. It's just obviously skinnier because it does run the um, uh, 9mm. It's so even got the insignia here for P38, which is kind of cool. And then on the back, where did I just see it? There it is. It's got that little Nazi emblem on the uh, mag too, which is kind of hard to see. I don't think you'll be able to pick it up. Maybe. Uh, uh, uh. There it is. Yeah, fuck Nazis. But anyways, so this is uh, the gun. Just thought I'd show you guys here real quick, a little uh, quick video of it. I noticed I got 34 subscribers now. Woohoo! We're growing. So I figured, you know, I, it's time to start bringing some of these guns out of the safe and show you a little bit about them. You know, there's a lot of guys that have way more technical detail on these guns. But I figured I'd show you a pretty neat, um, pretty neat uh, discounted gun that, you know, is still out there. These guns still pop up every now and then. I'm showing you my knuckle. Let me show you this. I don't even know what the hell that is. Probably some kind of like serial number that they did back then. But um, just a little bit about the gun. Some cool features. I think this is one of the first features, uh, uh, the first gun to have a decocker, if I recall correct. I may be wrong. I'm sure you guys will light me up in the comments. But um, when you have the gun cocked back, ready to fire, if you put it in safe here, it will... Uh, uh, decock the gun, which is pretty cool. Another really cool feature of this gun is the trigger. I'm a big fan of it. I mean, you have a little bit of creep, as you can see there, but once you hit that wall, very, uh, very easy to squeeze. I'm thinking probably like maybe three pounds. I don't know. But uh, double action's a bear. But um, yeah, uh, also... Real cool feature too is that it has a loaded chamber indicator. I'll show you how that works here. So as the round uh, files in, you'll see, let me see if I can get the light over here a little bit better. Let's 
creak that over on my riggedy system. But anyways, uh, what you can see here, there we go, is that little nub right there. See that nub right there against the chamber wall? I'll show you what that does. It's pretty cool. When a round field's in here and it pushes this spring-loaded um, pin, see how that pops out? Kind of hard to see with these dumbass gloves, but I didn't want to get oil all over myself. But you know what? It's for the YouTubes. Let's do it. So as that gets pushed back, you can see that you have a round in the chamber, which is pretty cool. Obviously, I'm not going to demonstrate that with a live round here with a camera between me. I don't have full control. It's got a heel mag release. That's how... From what I've read, most of the Europeans did it up until recently. And then, um, let me think of some other cool features. Uh, I'm trying to think. There was something else I remember. I, I, I've had this gun in the safe for a while, so bear with me. But I want to say you could do like a half. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's it. So, no, that's not it. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of my P64 I used to have. Anyways, um, neat gun. The, the uh, I'm sorry, I'm lost for words today. Jesus, sorry guys. The release lever is down here. So you cock it back, you just push this forward. And then you'll see that you should be able to. We are in fire, yes. Uh, I used to do this all the time. Oh, I think this needs to be dropped down first. Let's try that. Now let's try it. Yep, that's it. Hammer had to be done. But a uh, pretty neat system here. It's got a dual recoil captive spring system here. And this gun was just very accurate and very reliable for its time. Like I said, you have that barrel that moves. It's pretty cool. You can uh, take... Oh man, it's been a long time. I'm literally, guys, I'm going for memory here. Yeah, if you push in... This little button down here, the barrel comes out, which is pretty cool. And you see it's got this little lock here, which is pretty neat. So uh, just a really cool gun, man. I really like it. You can see uh, in that barrel, let's see if I can give you a little bit of a view. It's got some nice rifling still. You don't see any pitting in there. It's kind of neat for me to check it out too because it's been a while since I've cleaned this gun. But, uh, and then on the inside, you can see that chamber indicator even better. That That's the pin I was talking about. Um, this is also, uh, I don't want to say the first gun because I don't want to give misinformation. I hate when people do that, but I am going to go on a limb and say that here. This is one of the first um, uh, guns that did the exposed barrel, like you see in the Beretta 92 FS, which is pretty cool. But... Um, you know, the Germans, they were they had their shit together, I'll tell you what. I know it sounds ridiculous. I hate uh, giving them credit anywhere, but those guys were smart. They knew their shit. The machining's really nice. Uh, this replaced the Luger because it was just way too expensive to, to make from what I read. And they needed guns out quick. And where are we going wrong? Well, we should be good. I don't know, I think we have a problem here. Houston... I have a problem. Let's fill that in. There we are. Yahtzee. So now we go back. And let me see. I think it's right here. We should be able to pull back yet. No. I thought we locked it. And then we could slide it forward. So let's try that here. Yep. There we go. And Yahtzee. We're good. Anyways, just a quick video on this. Uh, pretty cool firearm. Just want to show you all. Didn't mean to ramble on there. I'm a little pissed that they engraved this here. I wish this company, PW Arms, took the two seconds to remove the screw and do it underneath. But um, I'm sure they probably got hundreds or thousands of these uh, from a Russian storage somewhere. It's pretty neat. Sorry about that camera. But yeah. Oh, also locks back on the last round, which is pretty neat. Anyways. Shitty review, unscripted, like all of my reviews. Uh, I have a baby on the way, so it's been a while since I've put this out. I've been doing a lot of hours and 
um, trying to hustle as much as I can, get as much gear as I can, and get the house ready for this baby. But not to go off on a tangent, I will be right back, hopefully, with another gun here. I'm going to just try to spit these reviews out real quick for you guys. Take care.